Howdy, Jacob here. Today we're looking at the next company on our generic stock screener, ticker symbol DAVA in the IT services industry, 1.8 billion market cap, 1.6 billion enterprise value. They provide technology services for clients in consumer products, healthcare, mobility, and retail verticals in North America, Europe, UK, and internationally. Founded in 2000, so somewhat newish, I guess 24 years, you can't really say super new, but newish, I'd say. With a fantastic return on invested capital historically, fantastic growth rates, not so fantastic margins, but gross margin 10 to 15%, not bad. Gross margin 30%, not terrible. Not really any research and development expenses that we're seeing here. So mostly just cost of goods sold and sales general admin hitting their top line. And a little bit of increase in shares. Maybe it's stock based compensation. Balance sheet does show 208 million cash like products with no long term debt, no short term debt. So we're feeling very comfortable with the balance sheet. Their cash flow statement has a good production of free cash flow with very low capital expenditures. They've made money every year since 2016, and it's really gone up quite extensively. Looks like there were some acquisitions here that are fairly large, but did increase their free cash flow pretty extensively. So again, I want acquisitions, especially for a younger company, to make the company more efficient. Maybe they're buying out quote unquote competitors as, I mean, you don't necessarily want that just being a human being, but as an investor, you know, good to buy, good to buy other companies, take away some of the competition so you can have more pricing power and definitely become more efficient, whether you're buying products or individuals, that sounds pretty bad, but you're buying um, businesses that have great management that can run your business a lot better in certain areas, make you more efficient in those areas. That's going to be a, a acquisition that's efficient for you. And outside of acquisitions, they've really just been reducing debt, and now they have no more debt to reduce. So we're kind of in a balance of, you know, what's most advantageous for us as shareholders, what's most advantageous for them to do. I mean, with a young company growing this much. I would say that with a high return on invested capital, definitely be reinvesting back into yourself. That's that's a fantastic thing to do. If you historically you've gotten 15 to 20% return on the money reinvested back in the business, if you can find those opportunities to get those types of returns, absolutely. Why would you give money to me as a dividend, pay down debt, whatever, that's already zero. So for me, I definitely want them to be reinvesting back into themselves. We do see a big decline in revenue of the most recent year, almost 10% down. But I mean, it's still so much higher than what it was from eight years ago. So maybe they can make some efficient acquisitions with the rest of their money going into reinvesting into other opportunities, other sectors, or again, just making themselves a better business by reinvesting in likewise companies or what whatever whatever form of reinvestment they'd be looking for they're looking for let's start making some assumptions here i think that i probably wouldn't be surprised with 10 percent growth rate again they had a decline of 10 percent recently but they've been pretty solid at making acquisitions and historically, they've grown well above that. For me, as my conservative self, I think that's the best I'm looking to go. And then for margins here, I love that free cash flow is so much higher. I think I'd probably be comfortable with the 11, 11 and 13% on net income and free cash flow margins. For share change, 1% for them is about $18 million. They're not buying back any shares. They're issuing options about double that. So let's say they double, or two, sorry, not double that, 2% uh, increase on shares per year. Terminal PE, I mean, this is where it's kind of most subjective. You got to look at, I, I personally like to see what the company does organically, not necessarily through acquisitions. And then also what's their return on best of capital growth organically. For me, it looks like they still have growth organically. I don't see any problem with that. They have been pretty solid and strategic with their acquisitions, and the return on invested capital is quite high. So I do think if they find those opportunities, they'll get a great return. And so I think that deserves a 20 PE, and we're we're darn close. 26% drop before you get the return we're looking for here. 
I don't think I'm being too optimistic. I think 11 and 13 are reasonable based on history, 10% growth rate. They just have to find their traction again and keep running. 2% increase of shares makes sense based on their option, stock price compensation options, 20 PE at the end of seven years. Seems to be reasonable for me based on their growth rate, based on their their size is still very small. So maybe I'd want a little bit extra return here. If I were to do a, a deeper dive, maybe I'd want a little bit extra return. But honestly, from what I'm seeing, looks pretty looks pretty darn close to something that could be an attractive price. So not too much longer till I hopefully do a deeper dive. Hope you enjoy the video and have a great day.